So earlier this week, my husband, before the England-Scotland game, went out on his stories and said this. I'm so confident that England are going to win tonight oh. that if they don't, I'll wear a kilt. Okay? I'll wear yes. a kilt. I'll spend a day wearing a kilt. I'll make a video about it. No pants, mate. You've got to not wear pants. You've got to be a true Scot. Full Scottish. I'll Ooh. go full Scottish. So I know he went on to say that if they drew, the bet was void. But I'll be honest. Scotland were the better team. So I think the kilt needs to happen. And it just so happens... I know where you can get a kill. So I'm gonna finish this coffee and then I'm gonna go and stitch up my husband. So this is the place apparently. I think it's a wedding shop. Have you been here before? No. Oh. oh yes. This is the lovely gentleman from Slater's in Nottingham. Not only has he got him the best kill, he's got him as foreign and the socks. <laughs> you, my friend, are a legend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be the best prank ever. Patiently waiting for him to call. Visit Scotland! Do you think this is funny? Yes. Right, stop asking about where my clothes. What do you mean? You know what I mean? I'm not wearing a kilt, Ross. England didn't lose, it was a draw. Did England win their match against Scotland, though? I'm not wearing it. I'm not wearing a kilt. Not a chance. Why? There's nothing wrong with a kilt. There's nothing wrong with a kilt if you're Scottish. I'm English and I've got my head tied like an England flag. All right, I'm don't get your flag. haggis in a twist, all right? Where are my clothes? Meet me at the riverside. What on earth was that? What was that? <laughs> Come and meet me at the pub in your kilt. I've never had a date with a Scottish man. I think it'd be well, really nice. What's your chance? Take a trek down from the Highlands and come and visit me. I'm not, I'm not leaving the house like this. You're going to have to because I've got all your clothes in my car. So you're going to have to walk to the Trent and come and get your clothes. <laughs> Here he is from his walk from the Highlands. Da -da 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 -da. my clothes stop messing about do you like walk. to boogie though do you like to boogie honestly you honestly. look great in that look at that you must be so brave hearted to come out today you know supporting england and scotland what a, what a brave thing to do <laughs> all that running your socks have fallen down pull them up you don't look the part do you know what i mean where are my clothes stop messing about i'm an englishman with a flag on my head dressed in a scottish uniform <laughs> Wait, all I'm wondering is where's your bagpipes at? <laughs> Go on, give us a little twirl. Come on, let the wind catch it or all get a good old eyeful. Get your sporran on and calm down, all right? Put it right. on or there's no right. trousers for you. Right. now give me my trousers. <laughs> it's not a man bag. It's a traditional purse that you put things in around this area. Do you know how cold it is today? Right, yes, I you bet. You me with any pants. Freezing cold. Everyone wants a little look at the Loch Ness today. That's why I've come down here. Do you know what I mean? Look, just stop getting yourself in a tease. Get your skin. <laughs> Do the worm. I saw the Scottish. They were they were like celebrating. They were doing the worm. Where's your car? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, get it in motion. Mate, it really is. You look lovely in that, love. Listen, this way actually is a good idea because up here's the pub and I can get myself an iron brew. <laughs> I think we're live.
Hello everybody, happy when Wednesday. Name three animals that can jump. <laughs> Kangaroo, a duck, and a frog. Duck! Oh, no!